Bolivar was born in July 24, 1783, in Caracas, Venezuela. His original name is Simón José Antonio de la Santísima Trinidad, Bolívar y Ponte, Palacios y Blanco. Son of Juan Vicente Bolívar y Ponte and María de la Concepción Palacios y Blanco. Bolívar had the best education from his masters, especially Simón Rodríguez. Bolívar's parents passed away when he was just nine. So he was taken in charge by his uncle, Carlos Palacios, in Spain. There Bolívar met Maria Teresa Rodríguez del Toro y Alas. They got married in 82. But in 83, one year later, she dies with yellow fever. Bolívar's back in Spain in 84. Meanwhile, Europe was witnessing Napoleon Bonaparte crowning himself as an emperor of France. In 85, Bolivar swears at Monte Sacro in Rome, Italy, never resting until his homeland is free. In 88, Caracas Council declares its independence from Spain and its king, Fernando VII. And Bolivar was sent to Spain in a diplomatic mission along with Andres Bello. In August 13, 1811, Francisco de Miranda, who had already participated in the French Revolution, got a great victory in Valencia, Venezuela. On July 24, 1812, Francisco de Miranda hid away in Cartagena, Colombia. There Bolívar wrote his famous Manifiesto de Cartagena, where he says that Nueva Granada has to join to Venezuela's inhabitants because they share the same cause. Bolívar got in Merida, Venezuela, in May 23rd. 1830, he was named El Libertador, the Liberator. At the same year, Bolivar proclaims the Second Republic. After so many fights, in 1850, Bolivar got Jamaica, from where he wrote his Jamaica's letter. Carta de Jamaica, a prophetic vision of South America's future in 1880. Bolivar founds El Correo del Orinoco. In February 1890, Angostura Congress begins its sessions and Bolivar is named President of Venezuela. At the same year, August 7, 1890, Bolivar got the great victory in Boyacá's battle, La Batalla de Boyacá. In December 1890, Bolivar creates the great Colombia Republic, La República de la Gran Colombia, which is preceded by him. In June 24, 1821, Bolivar strengthens the independence of Venezuela by winning in Carabobo's battle, La Batalla de Carabobo. In 1822, a decisive interview between Bolivar and José de San Martín takes place in Guayaquil, nowadays Ecuador. In June 1824, Bolivar met Manuela Saez in Quito, Peru, who would be his lover from then 
on. At the same year, Bolivar defeats the royal army in Hunin. In December 9, 1824, Antonio José de Sucre conquers in Ayacucho battle, La Batalla de Ayacucho, and he is named Gran Mariscal de Ayacucho. In 1825, the region of the High Peru creates a new state that calls oneself Bolivia in its home and of whose constitution is its author. In 1826, Bolivar refuses to accept his appointment as president of Peru for life. In 1828, Bolivar contradicts Francisco de Paula Santander, who was already conspiring against him. And Bolivar is victim of a murder attempt, but he escapes unhurt. Bolivar steps down the presidency of the great Colombia, frustrated, betrayed, and hopeless. Bolivar is expelled from Venezuela, his beloved home. Bolivar dies in Santa Marta, Colombia, December 17, 1830. Bolivar was barely 47 years old. Along with Bolivar's death, the dream of reaching the great Colombia united onto one big nation ties with him. The great Colombia was cut off into three pieces, which is nowadays Ecuador, Colombia, and Venezuela. But above all of it, Bolivar's dreams 